Hello, and welcome to Our Health, the health and lifestyle program designed especially for and about African Americans. I'm Dr. James Blessman. And I'm Fanchon Singer. Thank you so much for joining us. Did you know that diabetes and high blood pressure are the main causes of kidney disease here in the United States? African Americans are four times more likely than Caucasians to develop kidney failure due to diabetes, and 6.5 times more likely to develop it due to high blood pressure. Each year, over 22,000 African Americans die from kidney failure, a disease that in many cases can be prevented if conditions of diabetes and hypertension are detected early and managed properly. In an effort to prevent kidney disease among African Americans, the National Kidney Foundation of Michigan has developed a program that uses the relationship between hairstylists and their clients to increase the awareness of diabetes, high blood pressure, and kidney disease. Our Health's Kay Lowry has more. Make a hair appointment at Deborah Ivory's Beauty Salon and you can expect more than just a shampoo, blow dry, and curl. These days clients at Optimum Beauty Works can get life-saving information on diabetes and high blood pressure. Even though you know you have diabetes, I, I learned that some people don't take their medication. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's how they end up having kidney failure. Right. As one of over 500 stylists trained for an outreach program called Healthy Hair Starts with a Healthy Body, Ivory is helping to fight kidney disease in the African American community. I'm not just concerned about your hair. I'm concerned about your total body, you know, your total health. The salon-based program developed by the National Kidney Foundation of Michigan trains hairstylists to raise the awareness of diabetes and high blood pressure among their clients. The goal is to help African-American women prevent and control their diabetes and high blood pressure before they lead to kidney disease. Uh, it targets the Afro-American women because um, it, statistics have shown that women are more receptive to uh, medical care, uh, going to the doctor more so than males. The program trains hairstylists to be lay educators. And what they do is they go back to their, their shops and they talk to their clients. High blood pressure, one thing about that that I've learned in the training is that um, it, it is a silent killer. So sometimes you won't even have any symptoms of high blood pressure. In fact, you know, a third of African Americans who have high blood pressure don't even know it. The same is true for those with diabetes. One third are not aware they have it, making kidney disease even harder to detect and control. First of all, one cannot treat high blood pressure or diabetes if, we don't, if you do not know that the person has it. Uh, as these two diseases are the number uh, one and two causes of severe kidney disease in this country. By helping her clients catch the disease early, Ivory helps the National Kidney Foundation get one step closer to its goal. One of the main things that we're really working on here at the Kidney Foundation is educating individuals uh, about hypertension, diabetes, and kidney disease. The response to the Healthy Hair Program has been tremendous. It's made a difference in their lives, in their children's lives, their families' lives, and also in their clients' lives. I didn't even know I had high blood pressure until I got involved with this program. And I, I got involved to help my clients, like you. Wow. And there I find out that I have that. Right. that. My blood pressure was 220 over 180. It was stroke level. They could not it is important to know what your blood pressure is. It is important to start thinking about it in adolescence. The same is true for diabetes. These diseases can be treated. We have lots of effective treatment. And with effective treatment, the consequences can be prevented, but they require diagnosis. How, you've been to the doctor? Yes. And, and how is your blood pressure? And my blood pressure is fine, and so is uh, my sugar. The program appears to be working. Over 1,500 African Americans have been counseled as part of the Healthy Hair Program, and over 130 were later diagnosed with diabetes, high blood pressure, or chronic kidney disease. Ivory hopes that more clients will be helped. I, I would recommend to other stylists that don't have this program going on in their salon, I would say to them, 
it's worth taking the time because we're so busy a lot of times we don't have time to do anything but what we're doing and focus on what we're doing but if we can take a few extra minutes just to talk to somebody else it could change their life we could be saving their lives for our health i'm kay lowry